Hey, what's up, CP crew? This is Coach David Cuts here at Cuts Performance, and welcome to CP Talks, episode number three. Today, we'll be discussing energy systems. So during both exercise and daily life, there are three different energy systems that can and will be used. So first and foremost, we're going to start with the phosphogen system. So this energy system lasts from about zero to 10 seconds. This energy system produces power really quickly and uses fuel that's already stored inside of your muscles. So the reason why it only lasts 10 seconds is because your muscles sort of get depleted of it really quickly. And it's pretty much any event that lasts less than 10 seconds. So whether that be shot put, 100 meter dash, somebody stealing a base, sprinting for a fast break layup, going for a chase down block, anything of the sort. If your exercise or event is still going past the 10 seconds, your body will switch over to predominantly using the glycolytic energy system. The glycolytic energy system lasts from about 30 seconds to about two minutes. This energy system has to sort of create its own fuel source, so it takes a little bit longer than the phosphogen system that is already just right there, grab and go. That's why this energy system doesn't activate immediately, but it lasts for longer because the overall pool that it can draw from is larger, but it does take some time to get it all started and set up. The glycolytic energy system that lasts from about 30 seconds to two minutes is best for a moderately short and moderately high intensity exercise, such as a 800 meter dash, a two minute drill in football, or a series of missed shots in basketball where you are constantly moving, but you have to move quickly or explosively in some way. Last but not least, moving on to the oxidative energy system. The oxidative energy system lasts from about three to five minutes through infinity. It's only limiting factors when your body runs out of uh, macronutrients to burn as fuel. So whether that be carbs, fat, or muscle. The oxidative energy system has the largest fuel source, but it's the slowest at converting the fuel source into power. And because of that, it doesn't activate for a long time and also it can't keep up with high intensity activity. The oxidative energy system is best used for low intensity activities such as walking, sleeping, anything daily life, and also up to some endurance level activities. If you're running a mile or a marathon, you need a constant but relatively low output of power for a long extended period of time. So thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. Make sure you guys go check out and subscribe to Cuts Performance on YouTube. And also always remember, stretch the possible.